Okay, in this video we're going to look at Energy Skate Park Basics. I'm going to click on Intro, on Bar Graph, and we see that the skater has no energy at this time. And I'm going to pause it for a moment just to write. So this is the governing equation for this chapter. The amount of initial energy plus the amount of work done on the system by non-conservative forces is equal to the amount of final energy. And this is similar to an equation you might have for your bank account. Your balance at the beginning of the month plus the transactions equals your balance at the end of the month. So in this case, we look and the skater has no energy. And what we're going to do is we're going to do work on the skater by lifting him up. So a force times a distance. So we're going to do work on the skater. And that's going to change so that the final energy is not zero. So zero plus some positive amount and then that's going to add up to some positive amount. And so we'll see that. Let me go ahead and put that into action here. So we'll oh, I'm going to reload it. Here we go. So I'll get that bar graph back up there. And here we go. You can see as I do work on the skater, it increases the amount of energy. But now I'm not doing any work on the skater, and so the amount of energy is not changing. If we look over here at this total amount of energy, it's not changing because I'm not doing any work. Okay? Gravity is doing work, but gravity, well, we'll learn that later. Gravity is a conservative force. But for now, just think about the fact that there's no external forces like me grabbing him or friction, and so the amount of total mechanical energy is staying the same. You can see that the potential energy is greatest when he's over here or when he's over here. That's when the potential energy is greatest. And we're specifically talking about gravitational potential energy. You'll learn about spring potential energy later in this chapter. And the potential energy is lowest when he's down at this bottom point. The kinetic energy is just the opposite. The kinetic energy is greatest at the bottom and is zero up here when he's at his highest point. All right, and that gives you an idea about the idea of conservation of energy. The total amount of energy is conserved, and the only thing that can change it are these uh, non-conservative forces that are acting on the system. In this case, the system is the skater. And you'll learn more about the terminology as you go, but this is just a good overall um, framework to keep in mind as you go through the chapter.